told otherwise right now because we're still in the hopeful stage under the new front office. The problem is I don't have a lot of hope from this. Are you going to tell me why I'm just nuts or do you agree with this? It's one of those things where the further out you go, the less harsh you become. Just because, you know, you, you logic and reason and, and kind of barter with yourself. Because it, it, I, I mean, we don't make our decisions based on anyone else's opinion. But it definitely doesn't do the time any favors when we are basically alone in our opinion that it was a bad idea. That's something that, I mean, it does give me pause. I, I'm not second guessing the logic behind what I'm, what I was saying, but at the same time, it's like, okay, am I really arrogant enough to believe that I, that the two of us are the only ones who have this right? I mean, on top of that, the, the issue that we wind up having is more systematic and it's something I've hinted at. And the problem with the Williams pick is actually not the player himself for me. It's a bit different. Uh, I think that the Williams pick is such a problem and some people are arguing, oh, well, he won't be, see, he won't be starting the season or what have you, but he's going to play for sure. And he's, he's going to make an impact. You would think considering how great everyone thought he was to where it just feels like there's a tunnel vision. I keep using it, but a Brad Holmes tunnel vision issue with Jared Goff in that I legitimately believe this entire organization thinks they can actually win something with him. And that's a very, very severe problem. And anyone, to be fair, that I mention it to whenever I am having this sort of discussion of discourse and I lead with that, much more receptive to the concern being the case because I, no one is under any sort of false, uh, false dreams, if you will, that Jared Goff is going to lead this team to anything substantial. So then when I say, oh, well, they just drafted three picks that were in the top 70 in order to get a receiver for him, that's when we say everybody starts to go, oh, hold, hold on. Maybe we have an issue here. I, and that's, I, I love that you bring up the Jared Goff angle for several reasons. And one, as much as the average Lions fan actually loves this move to get Williams, if you told them it came at the cost of Jared Goff's going to be your starting quarterback for the next several years, they would not like that pick anymore. They would absolutely say, no, I don't have to do this anymore. And that is one place where me and you are actually in locks up with the fans. I know we have a lot of banter. You know, uh, uh, I know you especially do not like fans. I respect them for just being fans. I understand that they're fans. I don't like that fans are different. critical. That's all. But they don't have to be critical to be fans. The only thing that I don't like is when they try to be critical and it's outside of their scope of to, to, what they're capable of, of course. So the Jared Goff thing is fascinating in the most horrifying way possible if you are a person that cares about the future of this team. Right. Because everybody, from the outset, when we traded and Jared Goff was included, every single person, they're like, listen, we, we got Goff. Because we got an extra pick out of it. That's why we took on this contract. It's two years. He's a perfect bridge quarterback. We're just going to draft somebody, and he's going to learn under Jared Goff. Everyone has said this from the beginning. Nobody has said differently. What indications have the Lions, whether it's coaching staff or anyone in the front office or ownership, yeah. what actual indications has any of them given that Jared Goff is not their quarterback of the future? I'm not saying he is. I am terrified of the possibility. Yeah. But if you break down anything, and listen, you can say it's coach speak, it's whatever. They're just supporting the guy they have. And next year, they can easily package picks to get the quarterback they want. Those things are all true. But we have not actually been given any indications that they really want to move on from golf. And we've kind of been given some subtle ones that they may really want to try to work it out with golf. And what if the Lions have an eight and nine season this year? And Goff is not horrible. He's just he's just a passable quarterback for the year. He doesn't do anything horrible. He doesn't do anything great. He's just Jared Goff. And we win eight games. And now the front office is saying, okay, we're an incomplete team, but we're trending in the right direction. We only won three games the year before. Now we've won eight. Jared Goff's not the problem. Yeah. It, and the crazy thing is, all, all you have to do is sit back and you look at what Jared Goff had with the Rams. You look at the team that went to the Super Bowl, Jared Goff, and how incredible that team was. And they scored three points in that Super Bowl. And then 
last year, sorry, the year before, of course, before they got Stafford, his last year with the Rams, Jared Goff was so bad, he got benched in a playoff game for Wofford. Wolford. I don't even know if yeah, I don't even remember. It's horrible. Yeah. He's not I a good quarterback, right? He got benched for him. Yeah. And then they just, you're out of here, dude. We're going to package an extra pick to get you the hell out of here. Immediately, they win a Super Bowl with a different quarterback. Regardless of what you think about Stafford, the difference of golf and Stafford was getting benched in a playoff game versus winning a Super Bowl. Then you look at golf came to the Lions, and the Lions lost four points a game. A terrible Lions team that already wasn't scoring a lot lost like four points a game. They didn't have much further to go down. So if he couldn't do it with a team that you're not going to build a team that talented in LA, how do you think he could possibly be the answer here? And that should be terrifying for all fans. And you just make an incredible point. Man on a mission, I'm a kid, and you know I be on the way.